Hey developers, my name is Essen Jacobsen. I work at Nordic Semi. Uh, today I'm going to show you the new Nordic Thingy 91. This is our brand new uh, cellular IoT prototyping platform. When you open the box, this is how it looks. Looks like the Thingy 52, just in a brand new orange color. You get this, the Thingy, and you also get an accompanying SIM card from iBasis, which has 10 megabytes of included data. You can top it up with more if you want. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up this SIM card, connect it to the cloud through our NRF Connect for Cloud service. First thing I did was to download the Getting Started Guide from our Nordic Thingy 91 product pages. And as you see, there are four steps to setting up your Thingy 91. The first thing that you have to do is to navigate to our NRF Connect for Cloud website, nrfcloud.com. Second thing is that you have to activate the uh, iBasis SIM card. And then the third thing is that you have to associate your Thingy91 with the NRF Cloud, Connect for Cloud service. I recommend noting down these numbers, the ICC ID and the PUC, etc., on the side, so you don't have to read them because they're really small. So what I've done is that I've taken note of those uh, on the notepad on the side, and then I've inserted the SIM card to the SIM card slot here in the thingy. The next step is to go to nrfcloud.com and add this device as a new LTE device. After you've uh, logged into the NRF Connect for Cloud uh, web page, you go to uh, the plus here and you add a new LTE device. Then this pop-up uh, pop is asking for the ICC ID and the puck from the SIM, SIM card to activate that one. And uh, handily I've got that one stored away. So I'll just cut and paste. And uh, read all the terms from iBasis. And then I verify the SIM. On this page you have to fill in your personal info and then to finalize the activation process, you press Activate SIM. Then if we move back to nrfcloud.com, we had to have to add the IME I number and the PIN here. This dialog is directly after activating the SIM card. And then <laughs> I add the device. This takes a while for the first time maybe up to three minutes. The device is connected successfully, but I haven't, or added successfully to the cloud service, but I haven't turned it on yet. So you have to turn it on using this switch here, and it starts blinking blue light. And this will keep blinking until uh, it's connected to the LTE network, and then uh, it starts blinking green when it's hooked up to the cloud. This takes a while. Okay, so now you can see that the LED has started to blink green, which means that the Thingy91 is correctly corrected, uh, connected to the network and associated to the cloud service. Uh, if we move back to the nrfcloud.com website, you can click on this Devices tab, and then you can see that the Thingy91 is added here as a device. You can click on that one, and then I can see all sorts of monitoring going on using the sensors that are on the Thingy91. Uh, for instance, I can see where the Thingy is located. Uh, it's using the GPS from the NRF9160 uh, system and package. I can monitor the humidity of the air. I can monitor the temperature and the air pressure. We also have this asset orientation, so I can use the accelerometer in the um, Thingy 91 to see whether it's flipped up, so upwards or downwards. So if I just show you, now it's upwards. If I move it downwards, you see that it sends a message that it's downwards. I'll move it upwards, it sends another message that it's flipped. Uh, and actually, the Thingy 91 will come preloaded with the sophisticated acid tracking application. Uh, and uh, we'll have an uh, accompanying video on that. So check that out. It's as simple as that to uh, hook the Thingy91 up to the cellular network uh, and you can start prototyping today.